Mamma mia! I'm sorry, how could I resist it? You know, I too have a dream, and it's actually this. It's these TV shows returning to our screens. That is my dream. Oh my god, hey, welcome back to my theatre-themed YouTube channel. My name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. I am a professional critic, pundit, and content creator here on YouTube, and I am so excited that Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream is going to be coming to television screens via ITV this winter in the UK. I am thrilled in fact. If you don't know what this is, this is going to be a brand new TV series filmed on location in mainland Europe where 14 hopefuls will battle it out to be cast as the next Sophie and Skye in the long-running West End production of Mamma Mia as it celebrates its 25th anniversary in the West End. And it has been a long time since we have had a casting show like this, but this is not the first of its kind. We used to have a bunch of these in the West End led by Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber as he sought to find the next leading performer for various revivals of his shows and of other shows that he was producing. The first of which was to cast a Maria for a revival of The Sound of Music. We had one about casting Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Nancy in Oliver, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, and Jesus in Jesus Christ Superstar. And for all of my US viewers, if you didn't know anything about those shows, you've had a couple of your own as well. The Grease one is probably better not mentioned, but there was the search for Elle Woods to find the next lead in Legally Blonde on Broadway. And now thank goodness the format is back. Now when this was announced there was a little bit of pushback because not everyone thinks that these are a great thing for the industry. I disagree however because I think the amount of talent that shows like these have platformed over the years has been extraordinary and uh, it's very difficult to name a West End show that hasn't had at one point or another an alumnus from one of these programs in its cast. Several of them still do, including Sunset Boulevard right now in the West End, Harry Potter in the West End, Les Mis in the West End. In fact, as this series airs over the coming weeks, I'm planning to make a handful of videos revisiting those older shows and looking at the careers that those uh, cast members, those contestants, have gone on to have. A little bit of a where are they now type of a thing, because it makes for really interesting conversation. But for now, we are talking about Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream. So my plan with this series is probably on the Monday night after the show airs, which is going to be on a Sunday, and the first episode is airing this weekend on Sunday, if you didn't know. I'm going to be doing a recap analysis, sort of a power ranking video, where we talk through everything that happened in the episode. I give you a little bit of my insights and thoughts on it. Maybe I'll be joined by a different guest commentator. I'm very excited. You know, I enjoyed doing those recaps for Schmigadoon, and I'm thrilled to have musical theatre back on mainstream television. And what's even more exciting is I've actually already seen the entire first episode, and it is a great one. I think I'm allowed to tell you it's a pretty different vibe to some of those previous casting shows. It's not filmed in a studio, it's all on location, open air with these beautiful backdrops. And because of that, as well as being in a sort of a different age of reality television, I think the vibe is discernibly different to those older shows. It doesn't feel quite as harsh or like quite as much of an intense competition. The episodes also aren't uh, live each week. We also don't have audiences at home voting for eliminations each week like we used to. Instead, it is decided by a panel of judges. Let me tell you who they are. So the judges for this program are TV's Alan Carr, who is a comedy icon. He is so, so funny. He acknowledges the elephant in the room straight away about why he is a judge on this musical theatre casting program, but he more than justifies his place on this panel with how much entertainment he provides. He's so much fun. You have Jesse Ware, bona fide pop music star and Mamma Mia super fan who is also just hilarious on this program and then you have the musical theatre heavyweights Samantha Barks and Amber Riley. Both of them of course tremendous vocalists. Amber is an Olivier Award winner for her role as Effie White in Dreamgirls and Samantha is a particularly lovely inclusion on this panel because she was part of the Nancy and Oliver casting program I'd Do Anything years ago and that's what really launched her career. She was just like 17 at the time and now she's been Elsa in Frozen in the West End. She was Eponine in the Les Mis movie. She's originated roles on Broadway in Pretty Woman. She's had this amazing career and she is a huge success story of these types of shows. And she's going to be able to relate to these contestants more so than anyone else because she really gets it. So ahead of Sunday's first episode, let me now tell you about the contestants who you are going to meet. I will say in advance, I've seen the first episode and a lot of the details that I'm going to tell you about these performers are not in that first episode. Some of the things they say, like details to do with their training, 
but they very much are trying to portray them all as young real beginners in the industry if someone has credits they don't dwell too much on them at least in the first episode i don't know if this is going to come up later but for some of them they've worked quite considerably and they are depicted as being like a receptionist or a teaching assistant like they really they're not wanting to focus on the prior roles because that's not the story they're telling they're telling a story about someone you know being catapulted to uh, fame and uh, stardom and all of this stuff. So considering every time I've spoken to someone about this program, they forget that it's not just Sophie's, let's start with the Skies. So these are all the guys who are auditioning for a chance to play Sky in the West End. First up, we have Tobias Turley. I did not know he was going to be in this program, and when his face appeared on the screen, so many things made sense, because earlier this year, he was appearing in Heathers at the Other Palace Theatre. He was playing Kurt, I think Kurt and Ram are basically interchangeable, but he was also understudying JD, which tells you a lot about his talent as an actor and as a vocalist, because I don't think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section, I don't think any principal Kurt or Ram has ever understudied JD until Tobias. I think he was the first person to be a principal role in Heather's understudying another principal role. Normally, the JD understudy would be a track in the ensemble. The other face I recognized instantly was Zakiel because he used to be one of the singing waiters at the Theatre Cafe Diner. In fact, he was there for its opening sort of gala evening. I believe he sang Santa Fe from Newsies. He's just recently graduated, having trained at the Brit School and Emmerdale Academy. He was involved with Kin at the Other Palace, a very exciting new musical but he's got a lovely voice, definitely another one to watch out for. Next up, Craig Watson, an alumnus of the Guildford School of Acting. He is a Scottish performer and has recently been seen in Bat Out of Hell. There is also Marcellus White, who has a host of professional credits to his name. He, I believe, got a master's in acting from the Central School of Speech and Drama. They do bring that up in the first episode, if I'm remembering correctly. And he has been in Motown and The Lion King and The Secret Life of Bees, which I saw at the Almeida earlier this year, so I must have seen him perform already. We also have Owen Owen Johnston and Callum Ravden, neither of whom I believe have made their professional debuts yet. They are recent graduates. We have sort of a nice variety among all of these performers of people at slightly different stages in their career, but what they all have in common is this discernible passion and hunger to take it to that next level with a starring role in the West End. Finally, someone who makes an instant impression because of his charming personality and his very recognizable fringe is Darcy James. He is another recent graduate from what I can tell, having scoured his social media. Honestly, I have no shame. This is the kind of journalism that I was made for. I believe he trained at the London College of Music, but similarly, I don't think he has yet got any major performance credits. Now let's hop over to the hopefuls auditioning for the role of Sophie, starting with Desmonda Cathabel. Now, if you've heard Desmonda's name before, there are various reasons for that. She is a recent winner of the Stephen Sondheim Society Student Performer of the Year competition, which is a very prestigious prize for graduating performers. I first saw Desmonda sing when she was appearing in concert at the Menier Chocolate Factory alongside Maria Friedman singing some Sondheim material. Maria had plucked her from her training at the Royal Academy of Music. Subsequently, Desmonda appeared in the one night only version of the Stephen Sondheim Old Friends concert. She's also been in the revival of From Here to Eternity at the Charing Cross. This summer, she was alternate Kim in Miss Saigon at the Sheffield Crucible, another production I reviewed here on my channel. So I've seen her a few times. And most interestingly, she is about to be performing in the UK tour of Aladdin, where she is literally playing Jasmine. But what clued me into the fact that she might be participating on this show was a little detail the press release, confirming that she would be appearing as Jasmine at the first venue and that they were unable to confirm if she would be appearing for the rest of the tour because they don't know if she wins this competition yet or they already know that she doesn't but if they confirmed her for the whole tour then it would reveal that she's not going into Mamma Mia at the beginning of 2024 because whoever wins these roles is going to start in the show pretty quickly after the live final later this year. So Desmonda is in a fantastic position. Either she is going to get to play Sophie in the West End, or she's just gonna get the great publicity of having been on the show and immediately be touring anyway as Jasmine in Aladdin, which I know for a fact pays very well, like really well. 
Now, Desmonda is not the only recent graduate. We also have Esme Baudelaire and Stevie Dog, who are both graduates from Arts Ed. Stephanie Costi is a graduate from the Guildford School of Acting, who was recently seen performing at West End Live with the cast of the new musical Babies. That's very fun. Another fun and bubbly character you'll meet in the first episode is Maddie, Maddie Erzan Essien. She is a very recent graduate from Erdang. And then we have Leah Rutherford, who is literally still training at the time of filming. She hadn't yet graduated drama school, but went to this open audition and became one of seven finalists. That really speaks to a talent level for her to be able to do that before she's even graduated. Which also reminds us, while I'm telling you all of the drama schools that these performers went to, going to drama school and training in that way is not a necessity for being a professional musical theatre actor. And there are plenty of performers who have had huge success without ever having gone to drama school in the first place. And then finally, the group is completed by Maisie Waller. Now, we don't know too much about her, but we don't know that much about a great many of these performers. And what's really exciting is that we're going to get to find out more about them and all of their talents over the next few weeks. So hopefully this has prepared you a little bit more for the first episode of Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream coming this weekend to UK television screens on ITV1. I am so excited for this. I cannot wait for you all to see the first episode. It is so exciting. It's emotional. It's charming. It's a really lovely way of doing this show. And I think everyone is going to really enjoy it. And then on Monday of next week, remember to head back here to my channel where I will be sharing my post episode one thoughts, feelings, reaction, and analysis, which you will have to enjoy every week after each episode airs. For now, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts and feelings about Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream in the comment section down below. It is far too early for us to be rooting for any individual unless maybe you've seen them perform or maybe you know them in real life or maybe you are them. Hello, if you are a friend, family member of, or the performer themselves from the upcoming cast of Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream. I'm so excited for all of you to be launched into this industry. If this was your first time seeing one of my videos, make sure to subscribe to my theatre-themed YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming coverage of Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream. I'm going to be talking about this show a lot. For now though, I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>